A wealthy Chicago suburb is floating around the idea of residents opening up their homes to migrants who have found themselves on the streets of the big city. It's being pitched as a possible band-aid to help with an influx of migrants arriving at Chicago's bus stations. Even city Democrats are turning against fellow Democrats and left-leaning policies as they grasp for a solution. Chicago has been a sanctuary city for decades. The status is meant to protect migrants and assist them with city services. Sanctuary cities attract migrants, knowing resources will be made available to them. But now some Democrats are saying city resources are becoming depleted because of this unprecedented influx of migrants moving to their city. Resources that would otherwise be helping other minorities in need. Now Chicago is being sued over it. We would like to have our status as a sanctuary city removed. We would also like to see a better plan in place. There's no monies to take care of the migrants, nor is there monies to take care of the people that are there. Not only are Democrats coming for the city's Democratic policies, but some are also looking to recall their Democratic mayor over the migrant crisis. There's been more than 30,000 migrants come into Chicago in the past year and a half. The crisis is overflowing into the suburbs, where one Naperville councilman is vowing not to use their city's taxpayer money to house migrants, but is asking residents if they would be willing to help and house migrant families. But we do know there's increasing pressure um, for suburbs to, to, I guess, do our part. You know, we do have a, a very affluent community, a lot of big homes. And um, what I'd like to do is direct staff to create a sign-up sheet. So, you know, for individuals that would be willing to house migrant families. Um, and if there's people that would do that, God bless them. Big sanctuary cities are struggling to keep up with tens of thousands of migrants who have come over in a year's time, while every month at the southern border, hundreds of thousands continue to cross over.